Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI-S. Last time, we saw the tragic conclusion to the tale of Michelle and Kai. And in this episode, we're going to go collect our, well, reward for helping Michelle get some amount of closure, I guess. Lorelai's Harp. Dear friend, if you are reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I ever had. I promised that I'd take you to the mermaid seabed town, and though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea, sail over it, and strum that harp to meet her majesty. Please tell the queen I'm happy now, and there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling Kai. Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end. Yours sincerely, Shell. I wonder if the party has anything to say about that. I thought the party would be a little bit more sad about things, but, eh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Fastest way to get there would be Zvard's Rust Sea. Lorelei's harp works very similarly to how it did back in Dragon Quest VI, except we don't have free reign to explore the entirety of the ocean. We just have uh, access to certain spots that we could sink down underneath uh, by going to these glowing areas like this place. So it's not quite as uh, expansive as it was before, but that's fine. I think modeling the entire ocean undersea would have been a lot. Sprite work, not so much. when we're underwater and can jump and breathe. I suppose all of those things are very convenient. Ah, yeah, you can talk to that lady, I guess, to uh, teleport back to the top. And just like we suspected, the pearl is in fact one of the orbs we're looking for because the rainbow is glowing. Hooray, I guess. It's hard to feel happy about it, because, uh, well, people died to get us this orb. This is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in Mermaid Town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here, I guess we can find out if that story about the giant pearl is just an old wives' tale or not. Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the Queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Welcome to Nautica. We heard about this place a little bit earlier, but now we can actually visit and uh, chat with some people. Awesome. How come the male merfolk look so... Uh, I'm not gonna get into that, never mind. Anyway, uh, we've got a little bank here, and we've actually got a weapon and armor shop that we can't use because the shopkeeper is a shark, and we don't speak shark. So, yeah, not much going on for us there.
Huh. Well, I'm glad you're so happy about meeting a human. Alright, enough lollygagging. See, we could save our game there if we want to, and if we talk to this lady... Awesome. Yeah, there's no stairs, so she'll help us out. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. What brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted, and love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life and to the Tree Return. That's a little bit of a rude title. Oh, that's all you have to say, huh? Just the last thing you said in the cutscene. Well, already. Um, I don't think we can... Huh. Wow, I, uh... I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think the game was actually going to let me fling myself from the top of the castle. I, uh, thought there was gonna be an invisible wall there. In any case, uh, this part of the game, this little, uh, series of quests, I guess you could call it, um, is complete. And, well, we have the orb for this part, so now it's time to move on and look for different ones. But before we do that, now that we've completed uh, 
this little uh, quest line for Michelle. We've got a couple of uh, side quests we can do here uh, to get some nifty rewards. Anyway, uh... Ah, I see. Um, you're supposed to use the Queen of Nautica to help you look for where the remaining orbs are. It's kind of like a hint system. You could do that if you want, but, uh... I would prefer the approach of exploring places I haven't been to before. And by that I mean I know where to go, and therefore I will tell you. Anyway... Where do we want to go? We want to go to Gondolia. Ah, I think this is the guy. Yeah, so you can talk to this guy and take the song you got back to the mermaid we uh, saw back in Nautica, which we can zoom, or zoom to rather, not zoom to. Back to the mermaid now that we talked to that guy in Gondolia. And our reward is a new weapon, Gracos Trident. We don't actually have to kill Gracos for it this time. Thank God. I don't know about y'all, but fighting Gracos in Dragon Quest is always a bitch. Anyway, uh, we can replace. Oh yeah, we have outfits. Oh, we have outfits, all right. Um, but yeah, we can give uh, Jade Gracos a Strident. It's a nice little upgrade for her uh, as a new spear. So that's awesome. Spear weapons are strong, so having strong spear weapons is great. All right, uh, we've got another side quest we can go pick up in Lona Lulu after finishing off this little side, or not side, sorry, but story part. So let's zoom there real quick. The quest giver we're looking for... Oh, I could fling myself off the top of Nautica, but down this bridge? Oh no! At least be consistent about it, game. The guy we're looking for is over here. In order to complete this quest, we're going to need to do a little bit of a sail. Because uh, we can't teleport to where we're trying to go to. Uh, we need to go to... Well, first, let me sail to... I think Lone Lulu C will... Oh, push the wrong button. Lone Lulu C, I think, will take us there. Oh, yeah! Um, Incidentally, uh, you can see on the map now there are two connected or set of sets of connected lines, uh, linking some areas together. Those are glowing spots that connect you to other areas on the map, so you can use them to uh, sail them around or sail around, uh, which is actually kind of nice. I'm glad the game shows you that, and you can tell by the pink dot that there's one specifically where we're expected to go to next. But we'll deal with that in just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, let's see, if I can pull up my handy dandy outer sea map, we need to go to... Uh, I was afraid of that. We need to go to Insula Orientalis again, uh, which is that really lonely island off in the corner in the northeast there. Uh, so we're just gonna have to sail for it hard. There's there's nowhere close enough to get to it that we could really make use of. It would be great if we could sail to Zward or zoom to Zward's Rust and just go that way, but we can't. So I'm just gonna use the old trick of going south to go north. Let's see. We need to go over this way. Ah, there it is. That's the sparkly spot that we're looking for on this particular part of the island. Which gets us a carved figure, which is what we need for the quest we're doing. Alright, back to Lona Lulu we go. And for completing that, we get an accessory called the Warlock. Probably useful for one of our casters. So, there we go. Let's see. 
Magical Might in, Magical Mending up. That's great for Rab. Awesome. I'll also probably slap on, like, earrings or something on him, too. But alright. I've taken care of a couple of side quests, so... Let's move on with the show, shall we? Um, let's see. I think the closest we can get to... It's either Sniffleheim or the Strand, but I'm going to show you how to get there from the Strand since that is probably where you would want to go next if you just didn't go to the uh, Sniffleheim earlier. Anyway, from the Strand, you want to head up north. We're going to actually be moving on with the plot today, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the game fortunately does point out to you where a good place to go next would be, uh, which is over this way. Uh, which I'm okay with. I was okay with having to figure things out on my own too, in a way, uh, since a lot of Dragon Quest games tend to let or have moments where the way forward is to just figure it out. But this works, this works. Alright, continuing on. I do with a hand to heal all. We want to head over this way. There's a glowing spot we're looking for. By taking that glowy spot, we get transported all the way over here, to an area we couldn't have gotten to otherwise, because this area is landlocked. Let's dock! This is the... Chant Sauvage, or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But... It's a new overworld area uh, that is a place, well, let me rephrase that. It's uh, somewhere on the map. Can we... No. I guess we can't see the world map from here. Hmm. Ah, well, this is a way to see the world map, I guess. But yeah, it's over here uh, to the uh, west of the Heliodor region and, or, and coast of Valor and all those places. We couldn't have gotten here by land uh, because the ways to get so to do so are either totally blocked off or non-existent. But there are some new enemies and things like that for us to fight here, as well as a couple of new areas to go. Now, the next couple of objectives we're going to do in this area, you can actually tackle in any order. Uh, I'm going to assume you're going to go in the order that I'm going in, because it's generally easier to do so. But, uh... If you don't want to do that and you want to go the other way, hey, more power to you. Um, the videos will be up soon after this uh, set of videos will be, so... Oh good, uh, we we're all hallucinating. So uh, exactly what I wanted. Hot stuff coming through! Oh yeah, new enemies. Uh, these guys are lump mages. Uh, they can put you to sleep, they can cast Dazzle, and they can cast Bang. Nothing too threatening, nothing we haven't seen before. But just stuff to keep in mind. We did it, darlings! They're humanoid enemies, if you have something that deals extra damage to humanoids, which you probably don't, but uh, Lashings of Love on the Whip Path has that, uh, if you manage to get a lot of levels on Sylvando. Or if you got it first, but I don't know why you would, I would highly recommend having Hustle Dance first. Um, anyway, to show off the map of uh, the Chomp Sauvage, uh, there's two areas that we can go to here that are kind of like major city plot point location things. Uh, there's the Academy that I will refuse to pronounce for the rest of the game, and there's Phenomenon. Um, and you could go to these... Wow, that was rude. 
You can go to these in any order you want, uh, but going to the academy first and dealing with things there is something I consider a lot easier than going it the other way around. Uh, spike tears, these are... I don't even think these are new. Uh, no, I don't think these are new at all. Alright, well, we can just skip this fight then. Ooh, we can actually pick up Zing Stick for him now. Awesome. And this is... Mending up plus 20. Not bad, not bad at all. Might start to delve into claws a little bit, just to experiment with. I, for the record, do not recommend doing so, but I thought it might be fun. I don't know, maybe. I'll think about it. Um, but anyway, like I was saying before, uh, I tend to find that the academy is a little bit easier to start with uh, in terms of the sequence of events we're about to do here, so let's go! Yay, Dragon Quest V Castle music! Ah, oh, I love this song. No actual voice acting for the so songs, huh? I guess to be fair, paying like 20 women to sing would be a little much. Just uh, imagine that there were words there being sung. Très bien, a splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. Together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Mesdemoiselles. <coughs> 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 It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you. A power of maximal significance. There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see! <laughs> What an interesting fellow. But yeah, this is, um, we saw a branch of this academy like a bajillion years ago uh, over in uh, Puerto Valor, but this is the 
uh, Mini Metal Academy that they were talking about earlier. Um, we were turning in medals for them back in the port, and we can actually do so here in a little bit after we talk to the principal. But anyway, there's also some treasure for us to collect, so we might as well do that first, including one of those mini medals that we're looking for. You know, just a little important. This is where the slime lives. Let's see, we can also grab... An enchanted stone. Nice, hard to find material. I think there's royal soil over here if you really care about it. I'm just gonna grab it since I'm already here. Anyway. Excuse me. Could continue on talking to folks here. We actually got some quests we can do too. Uh, but... Let's see. Let's head in here first. Um, should I talk to the principal first? Yeah, sure, let's talk to the principal first. There you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Maxime Medaille. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie de notre maître des médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full-grown flowers. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. As they earn for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world and acquire at least a minimum of, uh, how you say, savoir-faire. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. However, there is one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place here. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Academy de Notre Maître de Médaille! Uh, okay. Uh huh. Well, anyway, for uh, visiting the principal and talking to him, he upgrades our mini metal book so we can now get more rewards. He can also stamp for you just like you did in Puerto Valor, and he can hand us uh, rewards. This is a bit like a. Uh, uh, Medford's Manor and Six and other mini metal places, um, but more official here, I guess. So we can grab a couple of rewards. We don't have very many mini metals probably to even stamp out. So we have 26 right now. That was enough to get us a uh, uniform, which is actually an outfit for Serena. So that's nifty. I think it I think it gives you the full outfit, doesn't it? Uh as in it's not like a set or anything like that, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, no, it's just there. It's a costume for her, it's all you need. Nifty. Not that I want that costume, but it's not the most offensive thing in the world. 
Let's see, there's also a vine of Yggdrasil here. Uh, you could use this to revisit cutscenes from the past, so uh, if you ever wanted to review them, that's there for you. That's also there for me if I ever get corrupted footage and I need to uh, beat a hasty retreat. But anyway, that's all we're really going to do today. Uh, now that we made it here to the Academy in the next episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI X, I'll explore and uh, collect the adventurer's tax. And we'll see where it is, uh, where an orb is around here, if there is one. Or maybe we can find some clues to where orbs are. But we'll handle that all next time. See you guys then! Yeah.